Oh, babe, can you grab me a monster when you're in there? I'll give you a monster. There you go. Let's hope we won. Yeah, can you open this? I'm gonna break a nail. I'm gonna break a nail either. Wish us luck. Not a damn thing. All right. We're about to head to the gym right now. I got my pre-workout. Britt likes to drink energy drinks. She doesn't really like pre-workout. Well, I she doesn't like, like beta alanine. I don't like the ones with beta alanine and all the ones that all of them. taste really Mostly. good have beta alanine, so I just drink Monster or 3D. Or Alani, but this is what Yeah, I'm, I'm actually not a fan of beta, beta alanine tingles that are like, when your face starts itching, but it's something you get used to, so I'm used you to You never it get used to it. You do. It's been eight years, I'm still not used to it. Still don't like it. So I do this thing now where when we pull up to the gym, I park in the corner of the parking lot and the gym is over there. It's not far, but it's probably an extra few hundred steps each way. Extra steps, neat. But yeah, that's one thing that I've been doing. So I, I've talked a lot about this and I'm, I'm actually, I've been planning on a video all about like adaptive thermogenesis and metabolic adaptation all that and neat or non-exercise activity thermogenesis just getting more steps in is so it's like makes a world of a difference when it comes to metabolism so i'm going to talk all about that we're not going to get into that now we're at i'm going to say a new gym but it's not a new gym it's the gym that i was on during my prep so it's unique for the last two years we were going to world gym two weeks ago we signed up at this gym here I, I haven't really vlogged in a long time, so you guys probably didn't even know I was at a different gym. But anyway, we're back here, and I ran Jeff Nippert's program for nine weeks, which I talked about in my first video back. And ever since we signed up here a few weeks ago, it's kind of just been getting a feel for the gym. There's so much more equipment, so... And they're getting more too, which is nice. Yeah. And I still have, like, that... Like, you want to just do everything novel, you haven't yeah. done it in so long? Until I've really... And I've been working on my own programs, which I'm calling flexible physique templates. They've been in the works. I just need a lot more structure with my training, which I'm gonna get on because this bulk needs to get real. We What's need to your grow. weight right now? I don't know. 180-ish? It's actually I feel probably like lower. you should try you to think get up 200. Like 200. Yeah. I know it's obviously gonna be like mostly fat, but I well, think you should push it. No, it would well, be. I've been training for a long time, so it would be a significant amount of fat, which we don't want, right? I mean, that's the problem is that like a lot of people when they go to bulk and I've had this mentality is you want to minimize fat gain, but you have to also accept fat gain. Like I've in the past, I've just tried to stay too damn lean while trying to get bigger and it just held me back. So I'll take take my foot off the brake a little bit now and give myself a little bit more room to grow. Good analogy. All right, babe, that was a great analogy actually. Really like great an analogy. Old guy thing to say. I'll just get fat as fuck. How about that? Yeah, that's good. I like that one. And, I mean, we've been married for four years, so it doesn't matter anymore, right? I can get fat. No, you can't get no. fat, but I'll stay in shape. But anyway, what about you? What do you got going on? Lean bulk for you. Get your, stronger. Having an energy. You're living drink, my you best know? life. Living my best life. Yeah, no. Um, fall winter this year, I just want to focus on putting on more muscle and gaining more strength, and then, you know see where it goes from there probably cut down for summer again but you know you never know yeah wherever the wind takes me okay cool analogy yeah <laughs> you literally just made fun of my take the foot off the brakes and you said wherever Listen, it's the been wind a long time me. you're right it has been a long time okay all right well we're gonna go in the gym now yeah well, I might overlay some of this footage over us training that's it for now I guess, right? is this gonna overheat Stop it and then restart it because it only needs a lot. It's not close. Come on, muscles, there you go. Can you kiss us? No. Yeah, time no, no, to no, grow. Do you look? Hey, Gigi. Hey, ready, set, go. Good girl. Good girl. Who's a good baby? Who's turning two Saturday? Is it your birthday? Is your birthday Saturday? So I'm making my shake now. Brit's simple, she throws a scoop of protein in a shaker cup and that's it. Me, I'm complicated. So I have ice in here, almond milk, protein, and then what we do is when we go shopping, we buy a ton of bananas that are like very ripe and then I just throw them in the freezer. So you don't need that much ice and this gives a good consistency.
I'm gonna be doing a Meals with Maddie soon, but I was thinking, do we do a Meals with Maddie and Brittany? We'll play around with it. Maybe we'll do like a Meals, a full day meeting together, give them perspective over what I eat, what you eat. So now I showered up and everything. It's about four o'clock, and this is where I spend. This is where I spend most of my morning, and then my where we spend most of, most of the day. Yeah, really, most of the day, and then like the small break when we leave the house is the gym, maybe to run an errand or two, grocery shopping. shopping. <laughs> I go on a walk every single day, whether it's two walks a day that are a bit shorter, like 20 minutes, or one longer walk for 40 minutes to an hour, and that's my time for either. Podcast. Just to, yeah, to listen to a podcast, whether it be for entertainment or information, listen to an audiobook, really time to learn while I'm on the go, or sometimes actually just like to completely shut off, no music, no nothing, and I'll just walk. You're My right. hair, I know, well I showered and I wasn't gonna put product in it. I'm gonna have to this. Uh, and actually in a minute, so four o'clock, I'm excited to walk. Look at this ghetto setup I have. I don't have like a cool holder for my iPhone, so I have this right here. This is what I use if I'm doing like an Instagram Q&A or an Instagram story and I wanna go like hands-free. I'll just set it up there. Lane Norton and if you guys know Mind Pump, the podcast Mind Pump Media, the guy Sal Stefano, they're having a little debate on artificial sweeteners. Now they're friends and everything, but they have kind of a different viewpoint. Whereas Lane is the science guy and he says there's absolutely nothing wrong. Science shows that they're completely safe. And then Sal is more of like the anecdotal. I've worked with a ton of people and I understand that for the majority of the people who struggle with their health, it's probably a good idea to either limit them or cut them out because they can trigger different cravings. So I definitely see both sides. I'm interested to see where it's gonna go. But my opinion is I do think it's probably a smart idea to limit them, whether they're safe as far as science says or not. I just don't think it's smart to add a ton of them. Mm -hmm. Aww. Uh, yeah, I have nothing against artificial sweeteners, but I don't think it's a bad idea to at least limit them. Oh, hey guys. Yeah! One thing that I really respect about you is you, you definitely have a lot of integrity. Um, put that down. Put that drink down. <laughs> I'll correct one thing. I don't have beliefs. I have opinions supported by data. When it comes to lifelong health, lifelong maintaining good body weight, artificial sweeteners work well for a very small subset of the population. That is true. Every study has limitations. So thanks for coming on. Sure, anytime. Thank you guys. All right. So the debate pretty much went as I expected. Lane kind of went that science route. Sal talked about anecdote and personal experience. And ultimately, I think they both agree upon the fact that if you want to use artificial sweeteners, go ahead. If not, that's fine. Which I think I'm right there in the middle with it. I'm not going to say that I don't use things that are artificially sweetened, but I don't go out of my way to add a ton of it. So that's that. Time to eat dinner. All right, we're going to go with a pretty bro dinner right here. So first we have this organic creamy tomato soup from Trader Joe's. That's fine. No, it's not. Uh, it's got uh, three and a half fat. Look at that potassium right there, 720 milligrams, which a lot of people don't get enough potassium in, in a day. So we're getting some there, 15 carb, two protein. So we'll have a cup of that. And then we have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, about a cup and a half of white rice and some spinach. So we're keeping it pretty bro right now. I'll also probably have on the side because I'm gonna end up making like a burrito bowl out of this rice and chicken. And then you need something to like scoop it up with and eat it with. I don't have any wraps or tacos or anything. So what we're gonna do is we got these mini cheddar rice cakes. And I'm gonna use those as like scoops to eat it. You literally right. pushed us out of the frame. No, I'm bringing you in the frame. You literally JJ, <laughs> my, I can't do anything. All right, how about this? <laughs> Emo. Blue blockers? Yeah, these are my blue light blockers. Actually, I got these, Movement sent these to me and they They're actually cute. look like a tool. But they actually do help. I'm gonna talk about these in another video, but I like them. I know I look I look weird in them, but no, we also have the, uh, the red light bulb light on because we try and, we're about to get to bed soon, so I try and uh, eliminate what, look, looking at too many screens and whatnot. Turn your sound and, off. And, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, so that's why it's red in here. Um, we could, we could change lights. that up. I like the purple. With the purple and the blues I like. All right, so I just want to say uh, this vlog was, pro I was probably a bit rusty. It's been a long time since I vlogged, but I think we did all right. I think we got through it. Good stuff. I don't have a hand to pound book right now. But we're off to bed. We will talk to you soon. Hold on, Gigi wants to say bye. Gigi, come here. Oh. She's gonna go to the group this week. Say goodnight.